Today, Lincoln has to track me and Chris dropped off Lux. The boys were happy to see him, so he ended up staying. Let me tell Lincoln to relax. He's running too much. I'll be at the finish line. Mommy will start here and shoot from there. I'll be at the finish line. I have the boys this week, and Lincoln's still in football, even though school is all virtual. What are we, where are we at? Football. Come on, Panthers! Good game, good game. With the pandemic going on, it's been harder for Isaac to do the things he likes, since they're mostly indoor sports like basketball and jujitsu but I don't want him spending all day on his phone either. Hello, sir, have a seat. Hi. It's almost Creed's bath time. Mm-hmm. So are we gonna put it, give him a bath and then I make think dinner? that that's gonna be best. Yeah. Then we will miss out on dinner. Oh, oh I have to feed you guys? Mm-hmm. For real? Yeah, we're planning on making tacos. Oh my God, I can't believe I have to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about you for a second. How have you been feeling in general because of the pandemic? A lot has changed. Yeah. So I feel really upset because there are things that I missed out on and things that I couldn't continue doing. Yeah, that's hard. That's why I was just trying to like figure out what can Isaac do that he loves because Lux does whatever Lincoln does. So yeah. Lux will play football and train with him. and But unfortunately, you weren't able to do basketball or piano lessons or guitar lessons or anything. So Well, I got back into drawing a little bit. Yeah. But... So I'll try to have some type of project. As soon as basketball opens back up, do I can ask you if you're ready to sign up for another league, but I just don't know when that'll be. I mean, you had a really good basketball year last year. Mm -hmm. You did really well. Yeah. So, okay. So I don't want you to just be on your electronics all the time and have no real outlet and, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you're so smart that I don't want you to just be bored out of your mind, you know? Yeah. Isaac is definitely bored. And I don't even know if it's completely because of the pandemic. I think this is him regularly, which I know that Joe also struggled with as a kid, just like too smart for their own good. <laughs> um, it would have been really cool if there was like a drawing class, art class of some sort that's outside of school. It's just not possible right now. I also know that because of the pandemic, a lot of kids, um, mine specifically, have been very reliant on electronics. And so I definitely want to focus on less screen time um, and try to find something, but I don't want it to be like one-offs. I want it to be like, we're going on this adventure to truly find something that he likes to do. I want to help Isaac figure out what he's interested in since he doesn't seem to know what that is yet. It smells horrible. Did you hear him? He says that smells horrible. horrible. Lux, come here, I'm gonna teach you something. This is called basil. Come smell it. No, no, no. You don't like it? <laughs> smell it. Just smell it. So how are the boys doing with school? I guess good. Everyone's good at school. Everyone's caught up, staying on track. Dads are coming through for me right now. We're just a little stuck right now with Isaac trying to figure out like what he wants to what he wants do. to yeah because I I know like through all of this virtual learning he's just hasn't doesn't have the same outlet that Lincoln has right like right. Lincoln has football. Do they have clubs at school? Well, I guess not because they're virtual. Yeah. Oh. And it's just been hard for him because it's not like he has a positive outlet for all these like negative feelings. So he's kind of like internalizing everything. When did you figure out that, that Isaac needed an out? Like when basketball was canceled last year. Uh, yeah? yeah. 
he played really yeah, well he this play last well. year. So yeah, I, I think he was proud of himself. And that felt good for him. So that's why I want to f help him find something that he likes to do, but he's also good at so that he ha builds that self-confidence. Right. Maybe he'll like have fun looking through like tiles and stuff with me and want to like <laughs> maybe design maybe. this thing. Like it's maybe. kind of like art, right? It is. Isaac. Come here. I yeah. wouldn't I would not ask your brothers to do this. So this is an individual opportunity. Would you want to design your own bathroom at the new house? Like would that be cool for you or no? It would. Like you would get to pick tile, paint colors, pick the shower curtain, like all of that. Would that be interesting to you or you would not be interested? <laughs> okay. It would? Okay. You're hired. I'm back from the tile store and brought some samples for Isaac to look at. Come here, come see these tiles. We're gonna go over a couple tile selections for your bathroom. So I want you to pick, just pick something that we have for now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna lay out the options and you tell me what you're thinking. This would be... Floor. This could be a floor tile. And then these would be your options for Wall. The yes. So what are you feeling like? I don't really want any of these for my wall. I want this for my floor. Okay. But I don't want this color. I want this color. You want a white floor? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this shape. Okay. And you're thinking white floor white hexagons floor. with what color hexagon? tile on the wall? Or are you wanting to go to the store to look? I want to this. Okay. <laughs> or actually, no, I want this blue. You want blue? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Do you want to like draw out your bathroom? Actually, I can pull like up the floor plan and I can show you what the blueprint looks like. He seems pretty excited to do it. Isaac is a creative soul. He appreciates it and he feels confident. I feel like he does feel a little bit special that you know he's the only one that gets to do that. And so that does make him feel pretty good. Okay. Hey guys. Let's go see what you're doing. Let's go see, baby. Give me. All right, baby, we'll be sitting down and waiting for you, okay? Have a good time. Right there, go. Let's go, let's rock and roll. Thank you. Welcome. She was just so happy this morning. Oh, no? Yeah. She just wrote, I miss my dad, on the refrigerator, on the memo. Well, it's important. She's right the memos on there, nightly. She just started doing that, and the first message was, I miss my dad. So when she, when I text you and you responded, she was happy that you came. So she's learning how to express her feelings, and you guys got to get ready for that. I know. I feel like this time, when I when I pulled up, I know I felt a little difference in her, like missing me. It wasn't like, oh, I miss him. I want him to come buy me something or something like that. Like she really just wanted to hang out. He really just wanted to see me. Well, let's see what happens. I want her to know what it's like, you know, to have both parents in, in her life. Because, you know, I didn't have that, but, you know, I'm doing my part, and Savon has to continue doing his part. Definitely. And it has to be consistent, because since the reunion, you haven't reached out to her. I'm still not the happiest camper, but we'll figure it out. Because obviously, Nova loves you and wants to be with you and misses you. And I'm not going to take that away from her. I'm not going to keep you guys apart. Mm -hmm. But we can't let what happened happen again. And I know she wants to sleep over your house and do all these things with you, but that's going to take some time. So for now, you're welcome to come to the house. You're welcome to meet her here at gymnastics, mm -hmm. take her home. And from there is baby steps. Get it right. Mm -hmm. Definitely get it back together. You'll be all right. Thank you. Woo! Come on, Woo! 
That's your sister. Look at your sister. You see her? That's your sister. Yeah. She looks good. Why didn't her dad come? Why the mom didn't come? I don't know. Coming. Anytime. Helping me with the baby in the nighttime. A little bit. Even though I was up. Last year, Bentley was struggling dealing with his dad's addiction. Life is hard sometimes. I think it would be good for you to see a counselor. You down for that? Yes. But wrestling has been a great outlet for him. He really wants to make it to the state tournament, so I got him a private lesson. He has to stick to a diet to make his weight class if he wants to achieve his goal. When you make the decision really fast to knee slide out, and that's when he gets confused, just he doesn't commit to the decision he wants to make. He gives him a little too much time. OK. OK, so. Good. Nice. Now put this knee kind of right under you. Good. 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 Hey, when you do that last one, yeah, like, don't get sloppy with that, especially going into region and stuff. You really need to perfect the front headlock defense, the pulling the arm down. I'm hungry. You know what you can eat. All right, I'm going to go get the kids. Maybe take a break, because you got a two-hour practice tonight, too. Two hours? Club practice. You gonna get a salad? No. Chicken. <laughs> what? You have lost your Real mind. He weighs like 74.5, 75. So now he just is on a very strict, good, healthy calorie diet. About 1,000 calories. Lots of water and workouts to actually cut weight. And as long as he uses the bathroom every day, you cut like a pound when you do that. You'll be fine. Bentley ended up weighing in under 75 pounds, and he did really well in the regional wrestling tournament. He came in third place, so he made it through to the state tournament. So this year, Bentley has done flag football, cross country, golf, baseball, wrestling. I've always liked him playing sports. I mean, I played a bunch growing up, and I know other people have said he does too much. But what else is he going to be doing out here, running through the neighborhood? Or playing PlayStation. Yeah. Like, let's be honest, how many kids are just glued to an Xbox or an iPad? Don't have to Our agree. toddlers aren't even glued to iPads. Agree to disagree and parent the way we're going to parent, because I think we're doing all right. I would definitely agree. Well, he also, when he went... 0-4 oh, to start the year in those first couple tournaments. You remember he wrote a list of goals out. One of them was to qualify for the state tournament because back then it didn't look at all like we were like, I don't think we're going to be at the state tournament this year. And then he started cutting weight, and he had to fight through that. And, you know, for the first two weeks, I was right. <laughs> Ooh, he was a feisty little fella. <laughs> he was hungry. But I think he thought there were many times that he was like, I can't do this. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And he found a way. Mentally, he's had to make his body perform and do things that even he didn't think he could do. You know, you could tell he felt like good enough to wrestle, but he didn't have any energy in the tank, but he still battled through it and got third place and he's going to the state tournament. Last year after stuff in, in his life really started to go haywire. We know that it has like saved him mentally. It's the one thing as a child, it's the one thing he has control of. Yeah. Complete control of is wrestling. It's only him on the mat. It's only him pushing himself in practice. You know what I mean? Like it is the one thing. Yeah. He can control. I'm just so thankful. It's Corey's weekend with Ryder, but we agreed to take her to our first soccer practice together. I put it under there. Good job. Let's go get another one. Right, right, kick it. She kicking it? Woo! Yeah! I'm done. Let's go bye-bye. 
After thinking about it more and discussing it with Tyler, we agreed to get the pony. I know it's more responsibility, but I've done a lot of work on my mental health, and I don't think another horse will add more stress, and it's the right thing for Nova. Okay. I know, you're doing so good. <laughs> horses say yes! Why? Yeah. All horses say nay. Oh, you like riding your pony? Yeah! We can keep her. Yeah, we can keep her. She's yours. Yeah. Come on. See, make that noise. I can't. Is Nova still enjoying Veda? She, yeah, Nova likes the baby. Yeah, she She's does. She's good with her. I think the she newness is. is wore off. Her. She's like, yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, right. the baby. She'll still be like asked to hold her and yeah. stuff, but. She holds her for like five minutes and she's like, no, mm -hmm. I'm done. You can take the kid now. But, because <laughs> she can't play with her yet. Yeah. And then we got her her pony, so that way me and her can go out there together and do things. Yeah, now and... you can like help her now that you're not pregnant. Yeah. So that's good. I know. Tyler was proud of me because I am usually jump, the jump on things, uh -huh. but I really did think of, I thought about it for a good four or five days. And then I went and saw the pony and then I waited another couple days before I got her. Because at first I was like, I don't want the animal. But then I realized I just felt like, you know, it'd be something that Nova can just kind of. Well, the pros, yeah, we're like, I can teach Nova to do things. It can and... be a bonding thing for you and her. Yeah. That, Something you know, she won't together. have with anyone else. Right, right. exactly. You know? Plus, it's like Nova's own thing, too, which is good. Yeah. Like, you know, and if Beta gets into thing. it, she does. And if she does, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And Nova's obsessed with the horses, so it was like Nova's own little thing, you know? Even though yeah. she's coming in the world and we're, our whole life's going to change in this whole big family, like, you. You know, you have something new too, like that yeah. you're able to like take care nurture, of and, take care yeah. of. You know, you're mothering this new baby. She can, you know, you can now you, you have something you can nurture. How do you feel? Tell me. Sore. Sore? Yeah. Your legs feel weird? Don't do that. It hurts. I don't wear my mask. You did have time. to wear your mask? Mm -hmm. Good. Did you pick up where you left off? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I'm missing one thing. What are you missing? I'm standing back against spring. You got your running back in spring still? Mm-hmm. You have a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I got to see you, actually. You got to see your coach? Mm-hmm. Did it make your day? Yeah. I could definitely tell when you were upset that it was really bothering you mm -hmm. to miss out on cheer. As long as we're being safe and things stay the way that they have been, then it's okay to go to one-on-one -on -one privates. Wearing your mask. Mm-hmm, yeah. hand sanitizing. I mean, we'll see what happens next year and if you'll be able to actual, actually be on the team. Hopefully you can be. But we definitely don't want you to lose all your skills and I know how important it is to you. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love you. Love mm you. -hmm. My girl? Yeah. My sunshine? Sometimes. Every day? Sometimes? Okay, I'll take sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>